In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to be looking at the Spot Removal Tool. It's one of seven different tools that are part of your regional adjustment cluster in your program. So I'm going to load the Express Mode. We could go the Full Mode as well. And I'll pick a photograph that I'd like to use here. And I will click on this one and click on Open. And now I have the photograph I'm going to be editing. Now in order to do spot removal, if we're in the express mode, click on adjust manually. That will take us to our full mode screen. If you're in the full mode, you just click on the adjustment button in the upper left corner. We're looking at these tools and this is the second one on the list under regional adjustment tools. I'm going to click on it and we find that we actually have two options. One will be highlighted, one will be dim. We can either do heal or we can do clone. Let's look at them and see how they're like and how they're different. So I'm going to do that with this gal. I'm going to change it so we see more of the picture. Then I'm going to zoom in on her face. I click the zoom tool on the upper right corner. I define the area I want to work with. Once you've defined the area that you want to work at, you have to turn off the magnifying glass or the tool won't work. But you notice now the clone tool or the healing tool has a circle. Now the circle defines the area that you want to change. So I'm going to click right here on this blemish. And you notice now I have two circles. I have a green one and then I have a white one. Now I can grab the white one and the white one is the area that will be re replacing the green circle. And you notice it's a little darker now so we can do a little bit with feathering to soften it. So it's not quite so visible. We can actually change the opacity of it a little bit if we want to. So we can make some minor adjustments. And you can have multiple areas that you're going to clone at the same time. So let's take uh, this other blemish here. I'll click on that. That'll give me a green circle. Now I, I move the white one to tell me where I want the replacement to be. That doesn't look too bad just as it is. Uh, so you can have any number of these that you're using at the same time. I'm going to reset that and show you a, an easier tool to use in many cases that's related to it, just some, simply called the Heal tool. I'll click on Heal. Now what Heal does is it takes uh, a look at the area that you clicked on and it tries to find out what is the average color in that area. So the size of your Heal tool does vary. I'll click right here and basically what it did was it did its own cloning from that area and it cleared it up. Let's try this one over here. Okay, same thing. Now you can also make some adjustments once you've clicked on it. You can click on any of them and you can change the size, you can change the feathering, uh, you can change the opacity. So you can modify them once you've clicked on them by clicking on the green circle. To remove one of these, you simply click on it and press a delete key on the keyboard and it will go away. So now I've re I only have one heel area left that I've worked on so far, but I'll click on another one and I'll click on one down here. And it's a pretty intelligent way to go and very simple if you just want to clear up especially some facial blemishes uh, make them a little a little less apparent to start with. And if you like what you've done, you simply click on done and on the left side. And now we've improved the appearance of this woman a little bit. It's the second tool in the regional adjustment cluster called spot removal.